Hello, my name's Karen Rice and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm going to be painting a step-by-step -step seascape painting. I'm using a limited palette of some beautiful colours and I'm going to be painting a wet and wet sky and I'll be using a little bit of masking fluid in the sea. Here are all the materials I will be using in this demonstration. If you'd like a full detailed list of those, they will be in the description below along with Amazon links if you'd like to purchase them. To get to the description, just click on show more and I've illustrated this in the photograph or if you're on another device, you may be able to click a little down arrow as I've I've actually pointed out here in the photograph. I hope this is helpful. Any issues, just let me know in the comments section. Here are the colors that I'll be using. I will give alternative colors as well in the description below. So I'm gonna start off sketching this simple scene in as you can see from the reference photo. I'm just drawing in the rocks with an HB pencil on a rough surface, 300 grams, Windsor & Newton paper that is on a block and it's got a gummed edge, which I like because it helps stop the paper from buckling. I've also put some framing tape around the edge to give myself a nice white border at the end of the painting. So once the drawing's complete, I'm actually using masking fluid out of the pot and I'm using my twig to put it on. That way you get some nice thin lines and it's quite easy to take off the twig and you don't have to worry about ruining your brushes. You can see there I've mixed up ultramarine with some quinacridone rust and then a little bit more ultramarine with the quinacridone rust and a puddle of yellow ochre. I'm wetting the paper now with my large brush all in the sky area. Really take your time and really soak the paper. I'm now starting off with the yellow ochre and I'm putting that in the horizon area. I really fully load my brush and sweep it across that horizon area. And now I've loaded my brush with the ultramarine blue and a touch of the quinacridone rust and I'm painting in this sort of greyish stormy sky effect. So I'm just painting this wet and wet and I'm leaving clouds. So I'm leaving sort of spaces in between so it looks like lovely soft clouds. And I'm giving my painting a quick tilt just to get the paint moving. I'm now using the yellow ochre, a nice watery puddle of that, and I'm painting the sand wet on dry. You can see I've included a little bit more of my palette and water pot and colour mixing. These are some of the benefits included in the channel membership. You get longer extended videos with lots more tips and techniques and a bonus video once a month that isn't released to the public. If that's something that would interest you, why not click the join button and for $4.99 per month, you can get access to these videos. If you have any questions about this, please put them in the comments section below. I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, back to the painting. I'm using my size 14 brush now and a wash of quinacridone rust and I'm painting this wet into wet on the rock area and then drawing that paint into the rocks going out into the sea, painting wet on dry using the tip of the brush just to paint those, those sort of rocks that go into the sky area. Be quite careful here because obviously this is the bit where the sky is. So if you're a little bit worried about using a big brush, just swap to your smaller brush. And as you can see there, I've actually swapped to the smaller brush and I'm mixing up the quinacridone rust with a touch of ultramarina and just painting some darks now, sort of wet into wet next to that uh, quinacridone rust area. And then as I go into the rocks into the sea, it'll be wet on dry. creamy wash now with the ultramarine and the quinacridone rust and painting this damp into damp just to really bring out these lovely dark rocks. At this stage make sure your painting is bone dry. I'm using some framing tape and I'm putting it on the horizon. If you find your tape tears your paper don't do this technique just use a pencil line and paint up to it. I'm using the phthalo turquoise wet on dry to paint the sea. If you don't have this colour, you could use Prussian blue or any sort of cold blue. Just making the paint slightly creamier now and painting damp into it just to get some stronger tones in the sea, especially along the horizon. A very pale sort of quinacridone rust with a touch of the ultramarine. 
It's very pale washes in the foreground um, sea here where it's coming in onto the sand. Great shadows and details. So there, I've just removed the framing tape carefully. Make sure everything's dry before you do this. I'm using my large size 14 brush. Just add a touch more water here to get the paint flowing and moving. And I'm gonna paint the rocks wet on dry. I do want to leave a little bit of the underpainting coming through and I'm being very careful with the edges of the rock so I get it nice and clean against the sky. A little bit of stronger colour now for the more foreground rocks. I have slightly changed the reference photo. I'm just making it, I've simplified it a little bit more and I'm just using this really sort of much darker color, more ultramarine added. And I'm just starting to paint now, coming into the foreground and really be brave. I know it's dark, it's against this lovely light sandy color, but you can do it. Once you finish painting those rock areas, I'm just putting a very watered down color just on the edge where the water is coming on the sand to create a little bit of shadow. And that's the blue and the brown. And I'm using these greys now to put some darks in the sea. You can see here, I'm using my framing tape now to take off the masking fluid. Make sure that your painting is absolutely dry before you do this. I've mixed up some of the ultramarine and the quinacridone rust, and I'm gonna paint in some of the little rocks in the sea and on the seashore wet on dry. Once I've painted in, I'm gonna use a little bit of reflection now just to give a bit of depth. I've added, actually added a touch of the phalo turquoise and I've lifted off of my tissue at the top of the rock so it looks like the light's coming from above while the painting was still damp. And I'm putting some smaller rocks in the distance here and just sort of softening underneath them so it looks like a little bit of shadow or sort of wet sort of reflection on the shore. Now you don't have to put too many just here and there. Just putting a little bit more soft shadow on this edge of the seashore here just using a very watered down mix of the ultramarine and the quinacridone rust just to finish off with the darks and details now. making a little puddle using the ultramarine, the quinacridone rust. I'm covering my entire painting except for this sort of sandy seashore in the rocks and I'm spattering this colour. It's quite watered down just to show little sort of pebbles and stones on the seashore. Final bit of texture. I love to have a little spatter just to finish off my painting. I'm just taking off the framing tape now just to reveal that lovely white border. I'm really pleased with this painting. It's nice and simple. The sea looks fresh. The sky looks beautiful. I do hope you enjoy this one and it inspires you to have a go. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got any comments or questions, please put them in the comments section below. If you'd like to get updates of my future videos, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget, if you'd like to have longer, more informative, in-depth tutorials, why not give my channel membership a try? Happy painting. Bye for now.